Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to fix the error. No DHCP server was found or the network connection quality might be low, which you normally found on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, this error usually means your PC isn't able to automatically obtain an IP address from your router. Without that, your internet connection won't work properly. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do, restart both your router and your computer. Sometimes a quick refresh fixes temporary network glitches. Now after doing so, if it's still not working, you might want to go to the internet connection. All right. From here, you see that there's going to be an option that says advanced. I want you to click on it and there should be an option that says apply repairs automatically. All right. So this is going to be the Windows built-in network troubleshooter. I want you to click on the next button and that should solve the problem right away. All right. And from here, click the troubleshoot my connection to the internet. And of course, they will try their best. And from here, follow these steps and see if Windows can automatically fix the problem. All right. Now, another option that you can do is go to the command prompt or CMD and then from here type the following number one is going to be ipconfig forward slash release press enter all right and then the following is going to be ipconfig forward slash renew press enter and then hopefully this forces windows to request a new ip address from the dhcp server all right because it will manually refresh the IP address. And then the next thing that you can do is basically go to the network settings again. From here, I want you to hover to the network and internet. And then go to the section that says advanced right here. You can hover to the advanced network settings and network reset. You can go to the properties change adapter options, network and sharing, and network troubleshooter. So you have all of these options for you. All right. And obviously, another option that you can do is you want to make sure that you are not using a VPN. Why? Because most of the time, VPN interferes with the connection. All right. Make sure you turn that off temporarily, or if you want it, you can uninstall that for now to see if that fixes the problem. All right. And then finally, I want you to open the device manager, right? And then you need to hover to the network adapters. From here, there is like a drop on menu and I want you to right click on it and click the scan for hardware changes, right? If nothing pops out, right click on it and click the properties and click the update driver. And from here, install the latest drivers for best performance, all right? Now, hopefully one of these methods should help you fix the DHCP server error and get your connection working again. And if you found this guide helpful, do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and we will see you again in the next video.